We had over 40 submissions for our recent Excel challenge called the Equal Playing Time Challenge, and in this video, I'm going to share some of the results. So first, I want to say a big thank you to everyone that participated in the challenge. Like I said, we had over 40 Excel files submitted with some really awesome and unique solutions, and we've posted all of those submissions on this page. Before we get to that, I'll quickly recap the challenge. And this challenge was based on a question from my sister. She helps coach her son's basketball team, and they currently have 12 players on the team and nine periods per game, and only five players can play at a time. And the challenge is to give equal playing time to each each player. They also have six games throughout the season, so they want to know if they can give equal playing time throughout one game or throughout the entire season. Now, unfortunately, the math works out that you can't do that, so there's no perfect solution here, but we had a lot of great submissions with different ways to solve this. And like I said, we've posted all of those on this page here, and I'll put a link to this in the description below this video. But if you scroll down on this page, we have the rules listed here. We also had a prize, and we had three winners for that. Uh, and then the results down here. And for each submission, we have a section with the person's name that submitted the results. We then have a screenshot of their file and their description here, and then you can actually download their file as well. And like I said, we had over 40 of these, so you'll see all of them listed here on this page, and you can just scroll through this and see all the different ways that uh, everyone has laid out this and designed this solution here. There's a ton of different ways to go about it. Every single one of these is unique, which is really cool. And also the solutions and the tools and formulas and Excel features that everyone used uh, were all pretty unique as well. So it's a great learning resource here. I encourage you to uh, go to this page and just scroll through it. Just see some that catch your eye maybe with the design or the way they've, uh, the solutions they've used. And you can download the file and kind of dissect it there and learn more about it. So throughout the rest of this video, we'll dive in and take a look at a few of these files. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go through all 40 or else this video would be really, really long. But I will just highlight some of the different techniques uh, that were used with formulas, pivot tables, VBA, and so on. So the first solution we'll take a look at is from Wayne Edmondson. Here is Wayne's solution, and I thought this was a relatively simple solution, but also relatively easy to read, which is one of the criteria here for this that I mentioned in the challenge, was that we wanna make it easy for the coaches to manage the game and substitute players in and out every period. And so this is relatively easy to read. As you can see, we have a table here for game one and the players that will play in each period, and Wayne's just figured out a pattern here uh, for the players that'll play in each period. And then he has all the uh, games listed here as well. And then one other thing I like about this, at the bottom there's a summary table which shows how many periods each player will play uh, throughout the season. As you can see, some players will play 23 periods throughout the season, some will only play 22. And that's why I said there's no perfect solution here because you can't have equal playing time for all the players, but you can get pretty close. I also wanna give a shout out to Wayne because he was one of the winners of our drawing. We had a prize for this, which is a, a free license for our Hero Tools add-in. So congrats, Wayne, and uh, thanks again for participating. So next we'll take a look at a solution that had one of the most advanced or complex formulas, and that was a solution by Caesar Riponu. And apologies if I pronounced your name wrong there, Caesar. Uh, this solution here uses a lambda formula, and you can see it right here in this cell, and all of the different functions. It's using a lot of the new modern dynamic array functions and other functions that have been recently released by Microsoft. So I think it's a great solution. I love that Caesar's also listed out some of the functions here so you can see uh, what each of these variables is doing within the uh, let function as well. So it's a great solution. We won't dive into this in detail, at least not in this video. Maybe we can have Caesar come on and explain this, uh, but I thought it was a great solution using dynamic array formulas. And there's a lot of, or a few different uh, layouts here that the coaches can uh, manage from as well. So if you wanna see uh, how some of the newest functions are used within Excel formulas in Excel, I definitely recommend downloading this file and checking it out. Next, we have a VBA solution from Diane Peacock. And this is a great solution. Uh, Diane's created a macro here that has a few inputs. And of course, we can run this. We can go to the View tab or the Developer tab, hit the Macros button. Keyboard shortcut is Alt F8 to bring up this window here. Within this workbook, we're going to run this macro. It'll give us a series of input boxes to enter the number of players. So we have 12 players. 
we have uh, six games and then we have nine periods per game that will then run the macro and output this sheet right here. And as you can see, this sheet has X's uh, for where each player is going to play in each period throughout each game and throughout each season. So it's laid out nicely and I really appreciate uh, the VBA solutions that were submitted for this. So thank you, Diane, for submitting your solution. Next, we'll take a look at a solution using Power Query. Yes, you can use Power Query to solve this problem. And Mattias Friedman did just that. And here's his solution file here. And I'll quickly just jump into the query editor so we can see this. Essentially what he did was use a Cartesian product method to list out all of the games here and the periods per game, and then the players per period per game using the index and mod functions within Power Query. So great solution here. I'll let you again dive into this one and you can go through the steps of his query to see how he did all this. And maybe we'll do a follow-up uh, video on this one as well, but a very unique solution here. And then of course, when you close and load this, it outputs the table here to Excel. And he has a table with the uh, player numbers here and then player names as well. Next, we'll take a look at Eugenia Herrera's solution, and her solution used a combination of formulas, conditional formatting, uh, pivot tables, and even charts. And it's a flexible solution, which is great. You can uh, specify different inputs. As you can see on this sheet here, there's a big table that shows which players will play for each uh, period within each game. And she's using conditional formatting here to highlight these cells. And then over here on this sheet, she has some summary reports with pivot tables and charts that just gives an overall summary of the uh, number of periods the players are playing per game per period. And you can even uh, filter those down with these slicers here. So a uh, great solution here, Eugenia. Thanks again for sharing this one. Next, we'll look at another solution that used uh, modern Excel formulas, and this solution was from Fred Bevan. I also love how Fred laid out and designed uh, this solution. On this first sheet here, he has the documentation. You can see some screenshots of the solution on the next sheet, and then also a section here that explains all the formulas. So he's using the new let function here, also the new filter function as well, and a lot of other formulas here. And down here, Fred has uh, provided an explanation of those formulas as well, which is really great. So again, it'll be a great learning resource for you if you wanna learn how he's calculated uh, some of the different metrics here within the solution. And over here on the schedule sheet, has a big table here with the schedule. But what's really nice is you can also filter this down using this slicer for the table to then filter for just a specific game. And again, uh, see each players that are going to play or the players that are going to play in each period throughout the game. So thanks again, Fred, for this great solution. Next, we'll look at a solution from Willie Stevenson that uses both modern Excel formulas and conditional formatting. He has a sheet or a tab for each game here, and then the roster for the game, the players that are going to play in each period. And this is uh, created with one formula here that creates this spill range or this uh, dynamic array formula using XLOOKUP, the new let function, uh, transpose sequence, and uh, the ifs function as well. So a lot of new functions used in this formula here to again create this spill range uh, with the roster. Another nice feature of this solution is that you can select a player name right here and that will conditionally format or highlight that player's name throughout the roster. So it's very easy for the player to come in here, select their name, and see which periods they'll be playing in throughout the game. So great job with this, Willie. Uh, makes it easy for the coaches and also makes it easy for the players as well. And I also want to highlight this solution from John Witter over at vertex42.com. Uh, John obviously has a lot of experience with this. This particular template he's created in the past uh, for basketball games. And there's a lot of different sheets here where you can set up a roster and then the lineup uh, per game here. This has four quarters per game, so it's not exactly gonna fit our challenge of nine periods per game. But if you're uh, coaching a team and that coaching is more performance-based, where you might also be tracking playing time and stats, then this is a great solution. And again, John has this available over on his website, vertex42.com, and there's a link in the blog post uh, to this page on his site where you can download this template. 
So I often say that there are a million different ways to solve a problem in Excel, and I think this challenge really showed that. It showed the versatility of Excel and how you can get creative and use a lot of different techniques with formulas and functions and features of Excel to solve a problem. And again, I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that submitted a solution. Again, you can go to this page here and take a look at all of those solutions, and I encourage you to do that. I hope some of the ones I highlighted helped you see uh, and learn some different techniques here. I apologize that I couldn't uh, highlight and show all 40 plus solutions. Uh, hopefully we can do more of these in the future. Thanks again for participating. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment right below this video. I also want to say happy holidays from the team here at Excel Campus. We're so grateful for your continued support throughout the year. We appreciate all your participation here on the YouTube channel and the blog and in our programs as well. Thanks again, have a great day and a happy new year, and I'll see you in the next video.